Okay, so issue number 13 of Stormbringer, and what we've got here is a paint one. So it's a paint kit this time around. Well, obviously, I'll just start by straight up showing the paints. So with this, you get a white, a wraith bone base. Um, we get a Mephiston red base. Now that's a that's a nice uh, bright red colour. It's a lot whiter than some. Uh, I've got some very dark red base colours, particularly I think um, like Blood Angel red, I think it is, or something along those lines. So actually, I don't really have a very bright red base, so I'm glad I've actually got hold of one of those now. Uh, and the Wraith, Wraithbone one, again, it's a good solid colour um, to start any creams or whites or bones with, obviously, because it's called Wraithbone, that would make sense. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yep, yeah, we've got a couple of paints to get ourselves going. Hmm, let's have a check here. It's no brush. I, I feel like if you're going to... Two paints doesn't seem that great. No, an issue with no brush. I don't know. I feel like a, a, a something else would have been a benefit there. Um, you got a little pull out about the armies of order. Um, I do like these, like as sort of a secondary supplement material. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's like a a pull out showing like a kind of an art grand army of order all together um, and you can see there's no other way to put it the free cities I think they're referred to as being the free city militia they use the old empire range of models including most importantly those gorgeous steam tanks so it's nice to see that those kind of old models have survived uh, have, and have been maintained, which is really good. And I can, you know, obviously, um, yeah, it kind of adds something that I would really like to put into this. Uh, so, yeah, we've got some quite interesting stuff. I mean, there's, there's some nice little ideas in here. Uh, it's actually weird. Indoneth Raiders with their weird sharks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there's quite a lot of interesting stuff here. So you've got the Armies of Order, which is quite nice. Yeah, Monsters and Spirits, Allies in the Shadows. Okay, so that's, that's quite a nice little interesting supplement. And then the main thing itself. Now, you've got a some kind of sea creature, by the look of it, on the cover. Um, what I assume is the Indoneth Deep Kin. Um, obviously some kind of elf um, creature uh, looks actually quite nice I like the way it looks it's uh, it's kind of like if a seahorse um, was a unicorn <laughs> that's the best way to describe that thing uh, monsters of the sea now that's a, that's nice so actually, even though I don't think you get any of these in the Nefti um, in the in in a uh, Stormbringer, so I suppose it's nice that they're actually describing, you know, creatures beyond what you'll see. It kind of gives you a thought of things that you know you might want to buy in the future or now if you really can't can't resist. Um, it's talk oh stories. I like I'm liking these stories. Uh, I've started putting all this in the proper binder in order um, and I'm reading the books before they go in all of these and then I'm putting it all together so I like these little stories they're quite interesting um, then moving on to you know talking about battlefields adding you know the next stage of painting okay so the next kind of stage of painting that we're going to do uh, you know, uh, I've already started painting up quite a lot of mine. I've still got a long way to go on my painting, but I'm trying my best. Um, so how to apply the new paints that you get to both the uh, Cruel Boys and the Stormcasts. Uh, and then, you know, an, another sizable battle. So these battles are really building up in here. Um, as someone who doesn't play that often, I keep 
delaying playing and I'm I'm regretting it now because before I know what's happening there'll be I'll be too many battles behind to ever get them done. <laughs> but I will keep trying. Anyway, so that's issue number 13. Um paint, yeah, okay. I, I need paint. Um there's some good stories in here. I've found in the past with the paint ones the the content is a bit light. So the the paints are fewer but with content is a bit more hefty which kind of makes up for it. 